When loved ones pass before their time, their surviving friends and family often find themselves driven by a new purpose, carrying on missions that they never dreamed of. Our next hero has surmounted losses that none of us can imagine, and yet she has brought so much new life to those in desperate need in her homeland in Africa. To tell us her triumphant story, here's a member of the One Campaign and the Make Poverty History Movement, Cameron Diaz. Underneath the jacaranda trees in Africa, there is so much sorrow. It comes in waves when the orphans of Malawi pass on their way to school. There are more than one million AIDS orphans in this country, and most will never know the guidance that comes from a father or the love of a mother. They are alone in this world, and alone on their walk until they reach the schoolhouse gate. This school is their sanctuary, because of our next hero, Marie de Silva. She is from Malawi and moved to Los Angeles to work as a nanny. She cares for two children here and uses most of her hard-earned money to pay the teachers, feed the students, and support the school. And it is not just any school. It's Marie's childhood home. The students learn math in the dining room. They practice reading in Marie's old bedroom. They learn to question and think and dream in her kitchen. This school is called the Jacaranda School. It is a place where sorrow stops at the gate. It's a place where every child matters. It is a place where orphans receive the guidance, the love from their friend and our hero, Marie de Silva. Every time I come to Malawi, I go to visit the graveyard. Fourteen members of my family have died of AIDS. AIDS is a crisis here in Malawi. There are over a million children in Malawi who are orphaned by AIDS. With no father, with no mother, children are raising other children. I, I felt that I could change um, the children's lives. Alice, this is for you. You're welcome. My name is Maria Da Silva. I'm a nanny in Los Angeles. I take care of two boys and I have been their nanny for the past 10 years. In 2002, there was a local school that was housed in a Baptist church and they were losing their premises. So my mother and I decided that we would take this house that I was raised in, open it up and let the children come into the school so that they can continue their education. We opened up our home. Children are studying in the room that my brothers slept in. Children are studying in my dining room. My parents' room, children are studying. This is my bedroom. So am I allowed in my bedroom? <laughs> I keep the school going and pay for everything in the school with the wages that I earn as a nanny. We have 230 children in the school. 90% of them are orphaned by AIDS and they are coming from very underprivileged homes. They will walk a long way. There's kids that will walk like a mile or two a day to come to school. It's such a great feeling when I see those children walking in through that gate. It's like they're walking into a future. Well, it needs to know that you don't have to be Bill Gates in order to be able to give. You can just go out there, have faith, have the strength, and believe in it, because that's what I, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present this CNN hero to Marie De Silva.
thank you to my mother who taught me the gift of sharing. The love and joy I get from what I do is so fulfilling I cannot express. Thank you to all my friends and family who have helped and been part of this mission. Reed Morrissey, the foundation, and you're on the right path for us. Ricky Lake, this is my 10th year as your nanny. <laughs> you are kind. <laughs> you are kind, loving, and giving thank you. My nanny friends for giving me $10 a month and this has fed the children for the past three years. Go nannies, <laughs> you rock. <laughs> Luc Deschamps, I'm here because you nominated me. You moved to Malawi last year to run the school. You have now built the new school. What would I do without you? Thank you, Luke. Thank you to everyone who voted for me. <laughs> and thank you to CNN for giving me this platform to share my story. Every child is beautiful and every child is special. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>